Whoa, what the? That's Naja Simantrana. That is a monstrous blue coral snake. No way. Two nights in a row. No way, guys. No fing way. No fing way. The moment I've dreamt of. Hello, welcome back. And uh, check out our new car. Wait, shut up. Is it unlocked? Is that you setting off that alarm? Look at it. Yes, this is the only car we could get, but we did get it for an insanely good price. So check it out. Proton Axia with the rose gold tint. There you go. What do you think of the car? I like it. I like You're small a, cars. Yeah, he's a fan. He's a small car man. Small car for a small... <laughs> anyway, we've moved on from the Cameron Highlands. Now we're heading up to Fraser's Hill. The top of the hill is fully booked, so we're staying down here in the lowlands. Not a problem for us, just gives us an extra 30 minutes of cruising every evening to look for snakes. So uh, I'm really excited. We got some targets, but we're happy to see anything. There's a lot of lifers here for, ha here for Harry. Almost nothing here for me, lifer-wise, but everything's cool. Snakes are cool. Let's go find some. All right, it just turned 7 p.m. and we're hitting the road for some late afternoon cruising. Um, then we're going to kind of take it from there, see if we can catch any diurnals moving in the late afternoon or some of the crestpuscular species. Always a tall order, but uh, let's see if it works. All right, first highlight of the night is this stunning and uh, exceptionally beautiful highland frog here. This is Rocophorus promenanus. I mean, it's not typically a highland frog. You, get, you can get it in really, really humid lowland forests, but... Wow, as we've been looking at it, it's uh, adopted the stress coloration because it knows it's kind of got something big, aka me, looming over it. You can see those dark spots really coming through on the body. And I think that's some microhyla and neck tens I can hear calling in the background, which I need to check out. Yeah, this is the kind of size comparison you're looking at with this guy. I showed them in my video last time I was here. They're pretty abundant, especially during really rainy periods like this. But man, they're an awesome frog, a really amazing tree frog in a place where we're not spoilt for great frogs. That's a really, really beautiful bird there. Some kind of drongo, not drongo, sorry, trogon. Okay, so things are not going well. After seeing a grand total of zero snakes in, I think it's been over two and a half hours now, I've just got out and I'm gonna walk and meet Harold. Uh, it's got rainier since I last saw you. It was raining pretty heavily before I got out of the car. Uh, maybe that'll get some stuff moving, but most likely it'll just cause no activity. So I'm sure we can find something tonight though. So I'm gonna keep going until I find the snake. No way guys, no way, no way. The moment I've dreamt of for years is here. My white whale snake. The main target of this entire trip to Peninsula Malaysia in situ, crossing the road right in front of me. That is the mountain pit viper, the Malayan mountain pit viper, a Vophis convictus. Oh my God, the first snake of the night. I've been out for no less than two and a half hours tonight without seeing a thing and there it is, my dream sight. Hold on, let me turn on the, the floodlight. Wait, 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 more power, please. There we go, wait, wait. There we go. Oh my God, I cannot believe my eyes. Oh my God, you guys are spoiled silly. This is like the Sumatranus video all over ago, all over again, I'm just nerding out. You're about to hear me going, dude. Dude, it's only a sub-adult, hence the light coloration, but this species is not big. Here, here's a, here's a little size comparison of it. You can see, pretty dinky little snake, but my dream snake, oh my God. Guys, I cannot understate how damn long I have looked for this snake. I have been wanting to arrive at Fraser's Hill at a good time for weather my whole life of all the many trips I've done here, but I was always here during dry periods where it only drizzled, but now it's just been pouring rain and it just started raining heavily tonight and just crossing the middle of the road. Just what I've been waiting to see all this time. This is a momentous moment. This is absolutely incredible. I am beyond hype. One of the rarest vipers in the entire region has come at last. And I'm so close to ticking off all the vipers in Malaysia and Thailand. So, so close. We're gonna make it happen in the next couple of years. Next year, maybe. 
oh, the weather has divulged into more of this. So there's actually a genuine chance that a Vophis can be the one and only snake we see tonight. <laughs> because this weather is not promising. And it's getting like kind of late now. And we have like 40 minute drive back to our place. This could be the last clip of the night. All right, fast forward to the next night. We didn't do any herping today. It poured with rain incessantly, but uh, it's easing off as we get into the nightfall here. So I switched the camera on, got out, dropped Harry off to walk some streams. I'm gonna do a bit of cruising, bit of walking, same agenda as yesterday. And uh, well, truthfully, it cannot get better than last night, but for the sake of the video, it would be nice to uh, get some numbers in tonight, get a few more snakes, more than one, hopefully. So uh, let's get to it. I'll uh, catch you when I find my first snake, let's go. Okay, and just like that, first snake of the night has landed. And uh, it's another pit viper, another venomous species. This time a big female Trimerosaurus fucatus, or these are actually known as Trimerosaurus sabahai these days, aren't they? But uh, look at this one. This one's got a really, like, a, a really, like, non-banded tail. Some people may say this one's nebularis, but I'm not convinced. Oh, hello. A little bit of defensive behavior there curling up into an S shape. What's biting me? Ah, something's biting my finger. Anyway, still raining, uh, terrible weather, but uh, the night started quickly. I've got a snake on the board. I'm optimistic that this will not be the last, <laughs> like the Viper was last night. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this big girl here, but let me show you size comparison first. There's my boot. You can see she is a, she's a big girl. This is a big Fakatus if I've ever seen one. Certainly a snake I'm pleased with. Ooh, hello. Yeah, that's probably horrible to hear. Anyway, I'm gonna hop back in the car, but nice look at this big girl here. You see our little dinky rose gold car in the back. Look at that, man. <laughs> what the boss? Well, this is not what we expected. I just got a call from Dave Nixon and his friend Trav, who are up here doing a bit of herping with us. And believe it or not, they went up to the same spot I was last night and they got this female Avophis. It took me 10 years of coming to Fraser's Hill to find this species and then two show up in two nights. That is the most typical thing I can possibly imagine. And this one, you can see it's around the same length, a little bit longer, maybe like five centimeters longer than our one, but a lot more sort of darker color with those really large black spots and uh, much fatter too, distinct distinctly showing it as a female. These have such a cool like overall look. I'm a huge fan of these more like understated vipers. And when I say that, I mean anything that's not a green viper, basically, because things that aren't green vipers are truly few and far between here in Southeast Asia. But this is a hell of a start to the night. And thank you so much to David Nixon and his buddy to, for uh, showing this to me. This is a freaking amazing snake. I am absolutely speechless. So happy to see this. I'm gonna get my camera out and do some photography. I'm gonna try and avoid getting bitten, but there you go. You can see the size, a little bit bigger than that last one. Not distinctly though. And uh, I'm gonna keep going. I wanna catch some snakes of my own. All right, next snake of the night in situ. It's another big female Fakatus. Sizable one, let's get it moving. There we go. Now you can take a proper look. Yep, another feisty Fakatus. Doesn't like the way I'm looking at me. Ooh, ooh, ready? <laughs> yeah, not a strike, just a little. A little. A little. Hello. Now you're Mr. and Mrs. Fukatus, and I look pretty stupid. Anyway, I'm gonna find some more snakes. Oh God, I just got soaked so quickly. I wasn't even like, 200 meters from the car and I ran back and it's already too late. Ah! All right, the rain stopped and I've met up with Barold who I dropped off at a stream earlier and apparently he found one singular snake, yep. but it's something good. What is it? Whoa, what the? That's Naja Sumatrana. What the hell? <laughs> that is not what I expected to come out of the bag. I uh, forgot to get you to guess. <laughs> oh my God. I, no, you could have given me a hundred guesses. I never would have got this. Was it in the trench? Yeah. Wow. I like, I've seen them up in the, like dead up in the Karen Highlands. I never thought they would come up here to Fraser's because the habitat's so good. And it's even hooding. Yeah, this was over a thousand meters. Over a thousand meters. Wow. And it's hooding as well. 
That is great. This is a spitting cobra, but it literally cannot see my face. So it doesn't actually have anything to spit at. It's just completely confused. But damn, black morph Naja Sumatrana. First time ever seeing this alive. I saw a golden morph in Thailand a long time ago, but damn, this is a great find. A friggin' amazing, totally expected a lapid find. And, uh, expected. Unexpected. <laughs> unexpected. Yes, yes, of course. That's what I meant. And it's, I don't know. Yeah, you can see it's, it's not, it's not, it's not small at all. Um, but it's also not big. <laughs> it's like, it's in the, it's in that perfect medium range. Just like a, a small adult Naja Sumatrana. Let me, let me, I don't know. It's a little, it's so defensive. I, I, I'm not used to seeing the species defensive at night. Usually at night they are totally like docile and relaxed, but this guy's doing the cobra backwards shuffle. I remember the golden one I found a long time ago also did this backwards shuffle and it backwards shuffled itself out of my sight and under a log. But uh, we're not gonna let that happen with this one. Maybe I'll film some more later of this. Maybe we'll get, get a bit closer, but this is, this is a crazy time we're having here. <laughs> Another big target of ours. Not specifically for this trip, but it was something we yeah, shit. Maybe it was a big target of ours. I don't know. Yeah, I, I didn't expect to see it here, though. If we were going to get it, I thought we'd see it in Borneo. Yeah, yeah. The Borneo ones are different, though. The, yeah, the some juveniles, people split them, the but Bornean, they haven't been split yet. The Borneo and juvenile, what, juveniles have, like, very different banding. Um, this is definitely, like, more akin to the ones we get in Southern Thailand, the Black Morph ones. Anyway, amazing find. A cobra. Is this the first, like, true cobra I've ever shown on my channel? No, I've shown Siamensis, but uh, never shown Calthea. You've shown Foxy. Yeah, Fushi as well, yeah. Well, there has been some Cobras on my channel, but not many. People watching this will be so happy. People are always saying, like, do you see Cobras? Like, why are they so rare? And it's just Southeast Asia, Lapids like this, the Cobras are just very, very secretive and hard to come by. Amazing. We, we're just standing where we got the uh, Sumatranas out earlier. And uh, I showed Harry some frogs I saw on the drain. He was taking some pictures, looked up, and here's the fourth Focatus of the night. And uh, Harry's first one he's seen at this location. It's actually quite a nice in situ if you get your camera out. Oh, it's kind of moving now. It. I'm not going to disturb it. I'm going to move slowly out, and then you can take a picture. Ah, oh, next find of the night is pretty sad. Um, as you can see, look, this is a still moving DOR Buiga cynodon. You remember, same species as that huge one I got when I was here back in September. There's not really any uh, vis particularly visible damage to it. It's just been struck on the head. And uh, I haven't seen a car uh, in a while. There must have been a car somewhat ahead of me on the road. One certainly didn't pass when I was with Harold. So I don't know. It's unfortunate. But yeah, probably going to uh, end the snake's misery an extra bit and uh, let it go. Okay, not long after that Cynodon, kind of the dead one. Another neon green bean on the road. Feels as if we're back herping in Hua Hin with all these neon green vipers on the road. But when you look at that head, that very, very pointed snout. Yeah, that's not Alba Labris. That is Trimurcerus sabahai, or what we call Trimurcerus Ficatus, as you guys know. Uh, they were all lumped together, but I think these are dis distinctly different and most of us still call them Fakatas, but I can't get too close to this one and I want to find something that isn't this tonight, so let's shoo them along the road, keep things moving. All right, just met up with Barold and we got our first Lycodon of the trip. Not the uh, Lycodon I was, uh, we were hoping for, it's Butler Eye. Oh, did you see that? This may win the award for nicest, kindest Lycodon. It went to bite me and then it changed its mind. Is he going to do it again? I feel like viewers of my ah viewers of my channel are so used to these little buggers. They're just so bitey, so unnecessarily bitey all the time, and they always bite in the same way. They just cruise around your hand, scent, 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 tongue out, tongue out, tongue out, and then when they feel like they've got a good vantage point to get dug in, here we go. You're about to see it in action, boys. Ooh, oh, ah. goofy ass snake. Struggling to even bite my, break my skin. This one's uh, got so many bands, such clear bands for its age. Hasn't even begun to lose them by the looks of things, which is kind of unusual, but we've seen similar ones like this in Thailand, which are typically a lot bigger than you'd expect. But uh, yeah, we still got, snakes are certainly moving tonight. We've seen way more than all the previous nights and uh, we're gonna keep going, see if we can find one from, ow. Guys, look at what Harold just found. That is a monstrous blue coral snake. Holy crap. 
This was not one of our targets here. Oh, oh, it's musking everywhere. Gross, gross, gross. It's, it's pooping and pizzing and uh, yeah, doing all kinds of disgustingness. But look at that. Oh my God. Blue coral crazy my last year. I think this has got to be my seventh blue coral snake in the last year. And without a doubt, this is the biggest. This is, it's hard to, it's hard to see. I mean, we need to really get it stretched out. It's, it's, it's in its typical catch a blue coral spaz out kind of mode right now. But, okay, now we, now we can get some cooperation from it. It is big, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out what size this is. I'm thinking 1.3 meters, maybe. That is the biggest blue coral I've ever seen. And it's an incredible true, what we call Malaysian morph one, which is when they actually have a blue, blue stripe on the side, not a kind of whitish blue stripe and so much blue in the interstitial skin on the body. This thing is outrageous. Let me get a bit more video once it's calmed down. Okay, tell me how it went down, Harold. Check out this snake guy. <laughs> I know someone who's gonna suck my... It's got some interest, is there like, yeah. It's not. Is it damaged to it? I think it's definitely black spots. It is one hundred percent black spots, but like, it seems like just there's not damage at all. Look mm. at it. It's just maybe it's parts where the scales are close together, or just there's the skin is not blue there. Look how nice. blue this, the nice. scales are. Yeah. These Malaysian morph ones are, are ridiculous. They are truly outrageous. And man, they, we're up here with some other English guys, and this is their number one target. And Honestly, it's not a, really a target of ours. It's just something we're always happy to see because this is probably the second most clouted snake in the region, second to King Cobra. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely the second most clouted snake. So always good for some Instagram likes and whatnot, but uh, yeah, I guess let's take some pictures of this and this is probably gonna be the last snake of the night. Maybe we'll do one more walk. It's about 12.30 now. Yeah, amazing. All right, after last night's crazy activities, we've got our very last day here in Peninsula Malaysia of this trip, which has already superseded any trip I've done in the past. We're driving up during the daytime, got some nice weather for the first time. Chances of getting a snake during the day. <laughs> there we go, that's the right attitude. All right, just got up to our typical walking spot and uh, caught this nice skink. Believe it or not, this is actually the same species as that beautiful blue and like orange tiger banded one I got here with Wainton back in September. But this is the adult form, adult male form, I would say. And uh, this one must have been on the hunt too for some females because it was moving around here and there. And the females typically rest in burrows on the side of these walls here and can get huge. But yes, this is just an adult male, I believe. It's Phenomorphus prosignus. You it has these distinctive black spots on it. I'm a very nice skink. I'm a huge fan of skinks. They're probably my second favorite group two snakes, uh, particularly fossorial skinks like these, these kind of rare highland wormy skinks. So let's, let's let him go. No snakes yet today, but just got another skink. This time it's Eutropis multifasciata. This is like the really common one that you see everywhere. They get huge and they often develop like a nice red stripe on the side, but this is just a young one. So kind of looking almost like a different species. Ooh. And they're fast. God, there's Harry running to the car. Weather took a drastic turn. Went from the best weather we'd had the whole time to the worst weather. It was raining so heavily earlier and it's still pouring now. And it's a double disaster because I left my goddamn boots at the house. <laughs> so my trainers are gonna get wet tonight and I'm gonna have to find a way to dry them by 2 p.m. tomorrow. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. All right, guys, it's time to hit the field. Just doing a a cool little bathroom vlog. Let's get to it. Big night ahead, huge night. All right, I'm out in the field. It's still raining, but uh, a little bit light and earlier, still not pleasant or encouraging whatsoever. Harry's got me out here walking drainage ditches. We kind of switched roles from the night before and uh, he's gonna go walk at the top of the hill. Let's see if uh, one of us can find something cool tonight. I'm sure I'll see a snake, but uh, how long will it take and what will it be? That is what we're gonna find out. So I'll see you in a minute. Here's a super cool rhinoceros beetle I found. Really, really impressive. David's gonna love this. Like he's gonna wish he was here to see this one. He's a big fan of these. And this is certainly a cool one if I've ever seen it. It was just kind of drowning in some water. So I plucked it out and he's good as new now, snagging me. Also, 
I fell over pretty bad. Almost died. Caught myself on some rocks in my hand. It's part and parcel of hiking on the edge of a road, apparently. All right, our first snake of the night is, very unsurprisingly, a female Trimerosaurus fucatus or Trimerosaurus sabahi. You know the deal by this point. Just chilling up here in this vegetation. Gonna leave him be, but the rain has stopped now. That means things are promising. So I'm off the mark. I'm not getting skunked tonight. Let's find some cooler species. Well, that's not what I expected to see today. Check it out. Up close with a porcupine. He appears to have got himself stuck in the drain, but uh, Oh, he's running, he's running, he's off, he's off. Hey, come back, come back, come back. You. There we go. But don't worry guys, if he's, he can easily get out the drain. All he has to do is walk like 50 meters down and there's like a little culvert which he can get out of. But uh, yeah, close up look at a pork. Took a little while, just got this feisty young male for Cartus. This one's got some uh, white spots on the dorsum, which you can see there, which is kind of nice, but I'm gonna leave him in sitting, not disturb him, let him go about his hunting or whatever the hell he's up to. Here's Fakatus number four of my night. Tonight is going very similar to last night for me um, in terms of just finding tons of these, but this one is in a nice ambush position, really pretty pose, another female, nice kind of yellowish color on this one. We're gonna leave a bee and uh, find another species. I'm manifesting it, guys. Okay, no snake, but I just found what some people, many people in fact, consider to be the coolest gecko in the entire region. This is the cat gecko, Aleru scalabotes felinus. And it's so unlike any other gecko in the region. It's an incredible animal. It's so elongated, like it's just, and these are not common by the way. I'd even go to start far as to say, in the Thai Malay Peninsula, these are really rare. This is maybe only the like, third I've ever found in Thai Peninsula, Malaysia. They are really special and the guys are gonna be so excited to see this. Oh, what's he doing? No way. Two nights in a row. Two nights in a bloody row. <laughs> I have been suffering so hard tonight, guys. Struggling to see anything. And as a second blue coral snake, oh my God, the rain has stopped and that is the perfect time to see this species. I'm just gonna don my head torch and I'm gonna pick it up for you guys. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get this, woo, hello, hello, woo. Little twitchy juvenile, sub-adult. Guys, is this juvenile? Smallest blue coral snake I've ever seen, I think. Um, I don't know if I could truly consider it a juvenile, but certainly a sub-adult. My luck with this species is just absolutely ridiculous. It actually is. And there you go, it's gonna musk on me. It's gonna twitch around. You can see that incredible coral red venter. That is freaking amazing. Look at that thing. The blue on these like central Southern Malaysia locality ones is outrageous. Mm. Kind of hard to pick up. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this video, is, this video clip is gonna go on a while. I'm gonna wait for it to calm down. One second, guys. This took one of the longest times to calm down of any blue coral. That was like five plus minutes straight of it moving nonstop. And at last, it's uh, catching a breather here. Man, juveniles are, are like even more blue than adults. Even at this locality where the adults are stunning, this juvenile is just crazy. Take a look at that head. Wow. Oh, time, man. What is this? In the last year, within the last uh, 11 months, I've seen one of the eight blue coral snakes. That's got to be some kind of record for a herper. If anybody's done better than me, shout me out in the comments. Call me out in the comments. But, oh, wow. Yeah, smallest one I've ever seen by a considerable margin. That is not a big snake whatsoever. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not sure how, if I can consider this a juvenile, but what I can undoubtedly say it is, is a freaking beautiful, beautiful snake. Second blue coral snake of the trip. <laughs> this could be the last snake of the night. If it is, then uh, we killed it, but I still got to see what Harry found. So I'm going to catch up with him and I'll catch you soon. Okay, guys. Sorry, I'm doing it one-handed. Check out this ridiculous snake I found. 
Look, look at the way it's moving. I've literally just seen cartwheels. I've seen hipsters got this Murphy eye do that in, oh shit. Night Hornet. Okay, die, die, die. No, die, die. Okay, Night Hornet dead. Next snake of the night. My night went from pretty crud to pretty good. Species never shown on the channel before. That's a, a type of reed snake. This is Pseudorabdian longiceps. Um, dwarf reed snake, maybe the name? So I'm gonna be kind of shaky. I'm doing it one-handed because I'm using my hand torch for now because I'm trying to save on batteries. For my other torch, uh, long story, basically Harry's charger broken. I may have to supplement him with batteries, but... Oh no, another night hornet. All right, boys. Hope you enjoyed that reed snake. I'll uh, maybe catch up with you in a second. Oh God, 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 God. Piss off, was. Piss off. I'm trying to keep an eye on the snake while also trying to attract this, the wasp to the ground. Oh, those night wasps have the worst thing sometimes, I swear to God. Okay, that's something else flying around. All right, let me get you aside. I'll have to put my torch in my mouth. Mm-mm. Right, I just saw Harry. Um, he hasn't seen anything new tonight. So we're going to do about 30 minutes more herping, maybe 40 minutes. We've got a ton of stuff to photograph tonight before we head to Borneo tomorrow. So uh, I'm going to quickly power walk up this road, see if I can find one or two more things before the night's up. And that will be the end of the video, but there could still be more on the cards, guys. So stay tuned. <laughs> What the hell, guys? I just stopped because I thought I... What are you... Stop it. Stop it, car. I just stopped because I thought I saw something on the road. Got out of the car. Looked up here. Blunt-headed slug snake. How incredibly convenient. Well, there you go, guys. You can see it now on my hand. Coiling up in the typical Aplopeltra bow way. You know, some people consider this one of the cutest snakes in the world. And when you see it right like this, wrapped around my finger, just trying to hide its head and failing, who am I to disagree? Absolutely incredible species. And another one to add to what's been an amazing trip here to Malaysia. The best trip to Malaysia I've ever done. One of the best field herping trips I've ever done all around in terms of rarity, showstoppers. This ain't a showstopper, but it sure as hell is a cute snake.